there have been rumors that the Rise of Skywalker is supposed to be kind of harken back to the entire history of Star Wars movies. And there's been rumors that, you know, different characters from throughout history of Star Wars are going to show up, um, including for the George Lucas prequels, like Hayden Christensen, who played young Anakin Skywalker, who would grow up to be Star Wars' greatest villain, Darth Vader. There have been no confirmation that he's going to be in the movie, but some recent events at FanX in Salt Lake City, Utah, have made people think that he is. Because he was apparently supposed to do a panel there with Ian McDiarmid, who plays Emperor Palpatine, who is actually going to be, we know for sure that's been confirmed, going to be in Episode Nine. Um, and then Disney canceled the panel, leading some to put a lot of people to, you know, be detectives and stuff and think, why would Disney want to cancel this panel at the last minute? And the theory is that they are afraid that, you know, if the two of them are on a panel together, you know, it'll prompt them to answer questions about the movie or talk about the movie and reveal spoilers. So, you know, if they don't want Hayden Christensen to talk spoilers, that must mean he's in the movie, right? That's the theory. Um, let's read some tweets from people who were there. Um, and here's one from someone named Raylo Rev Reverend Megatron. And here's the tweet. And Disney just canceled their panel at FanX. Like, how else are we supposed to read that, Star Wars? Um, in response to... Or they were retweeting a tweet below them from Lou. Okay, but Ian McDiarmid and Hayden Christensen keep appearing together in public, and I'm not supposed to believe Anakin will be in The Rise of Skywalker? Alex Wood. The Star Wars Spotlight panel at FanX was canceled. The rumor is that Disney threatened litigation if... You know, Salt Lake Fanex allowed Hayden Christensen and Ian McDiarmid to speak for fear of leaks. These rumors have yet to be addressed by either organization. And they probably never will be addressed if, you know, these theories are correct. Disney's going to keep this hush-hush. I don't know. I mean, it would make sense, you know, if, you know, the true... If they're being truthful, you know, Disney and Lucasfilm, that this is supposed to be the end of the entire Skywalker saga. And... It seems that they're going to be leaning heavily into nostalgia, at least in the marketing. Um, it would make sense that people from different characters from different Star Wars movies throughout its entire nine movie history, or, well, actually 11 or 12 movie history, would show up in this final, you know, send-off. Including the guy who played the younger version of the series' greatest villain, right? Darth Vader is the iconic, one of the most iconic supervillains of all time in all of cinema, not just in Star Wars. So it'd be cool. There's been rumors that it's going to involve time travel, and that would be a way for them to have these... That would be one way all these people could show up. Or, you know, he could be a Force ghost as young Anakin, because I think Luke's supposed to come back as a Force ghost. Or maybe not. Maybe he'll come back. He's still alive. Or they're going to travel through time. Um, the theories are all over the place of what the Rise of Skywalker is going to entail. But it does seem like, you know, if you're the tinfoil hat type, that Hayden Christensen will be in the movie, and if so, who else would he be but Darth Vader or Anakin Skywalker? What do you think? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.